Hey guys, welcome to Shujib Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move from one level to another or one scene to another scene. We're going to create something very similar to this. So I have two levels, level one and level two. When you start, all right, so this is how level one looks like. Level one, and we have cube, uh, some objects. We have a door, and inside the inside this area, we have a trigger. So right after I enter this, I'm in level two. See this different place, and if I go back, it's going to take me to level one again. All right, so let's get started. All right, we have an empty project here. So the first thing we're going to create is we're going to import um, characters. So this will import a uh, third-person character controller and first-person controller as well. Uh, you can use either of them. If you don't have them, uh, you can get it from the uh, Unity SS store. I'll put the URL in the description. All right, we have the characters, so we're going to pick. Um, let's try the third person go to that person prefabs and we're going to pick third person controller drag it so in here we're going to create an um, empty we're going to name it um level one inside we're going to create a cube okay scale the cube to like 10 10 it's going to be five. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Something like this. Let's see. I'm going to put um, here. Cylinder. Free text. Text will go here. Changes to level one. We have level one. One for um, floor. One for um, the objects in the, the object on the floor. objects drag the material object to three items I'm going to change the color of the floor um, all right so the first one is going to be this and this could be that Copy this and put it here. Make it a little bigger. Expand these um, materials and then go to um, element zero. Click here. But I want to try this. This looks like a um, black hole. I don't have a main camera with this guy. So I'm going to. Um, Drag the main camera and put it under third person controller. Um, and camera is let me if I reset the okay, so reset the uh, transfer from main camera and I'm gonna put him behind this guy. I have to change this a little. Let's change it to um, this. So that otherwise it was giving weird effect. Um, yeah. So let's fix the camera. Camera. This.
Okay. So we have the camera in place. Um, let's start to see how it looks like. All right. We can control and we can move forward. So this is the trigger, right? Nothing happens here. So whenever I go there, I get stuck. Right click here and create a C sharp and name it go to level. And click on the sphere, which is the trigger. You can rename it to trigger. So we have the trigger clicked. Um, drag the C sharp and put it here. And we're going to write some code and save it. Save it as level one. Level one. And you will see level one showing up here. Open this. Okay, we're going to add a new Unity Engine Scene Management. And we're going to have a public string next level. And then we're going to create a void on trigger enter. Okay. So this is the collider. If collider compare tag player if the player collides with the lighter then we're going to use the scene manager load scene and we're going to put the next level there you go this this pretty much it so we have to add this tag to our player. So our player is third person controller. So I click on the third person controller and go to tag and choose player. Okay. So we're done with level one. Save it. Click on level one and control D. So it will duplicate. It will create level two for you. So now open uh, level two. Okay. So this is your level two. Rename it to level two. This is level two, so we have to change a couple other things. So we have to change the uh, text in level two. It's going to be level two. Duplicate. Select both of the materials and Control D. So this is floor two for level two. Two. We're gonna um, drag. Yeah. Actually, we're gonna flip it. Okay. The object is gonna have the floor is gonna have the object color and the floor the objects are gonna get the floor color from level one. So as this not like that and I'm going to change the name to object Floor two. There you go. In level two, click on trigger, and we have to. You should see a string called next level. So next level for uh, level two is level one. Right. This is exactly the same name of this level one and two. So we're going to save level two. Um, go to level one. Double click on level one and click on trigger and under my next level string we're going to say level two so for level one is going to take us to level two from level two is going to bring us back to level one and let's play okay let's look around this level one and okay we couldn't be loaded because it has been added all right, yeah, so we have to do one more thing. Um, uh, go to okay, click on file, build settings, and select both of the levels and 
and drag him here. Close the window. Play. So we're in level one. Okay. There you go, we're in level two. Okay, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? In level one again. And we're gonna go to level two. It's pretty cool.